breaking news. There are multiple stories breaking right now as we come on the air at six. First, a possible pipe bomb exploding in Tampa. Action Air One live on the scene right now. Tampa police trying to figure out who may have planted this device and why. And we want to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales live near the scene on Columbus Avenue. Isabel, what can you tell us? Well, Wendy, in just the last 10 minutes, we saw a man actually being handcuffed, detained and put into the back of a police car. Now, TPD is very hesitant to say more details into how he may be connected to this apparent pipe bomb because they say that what they have on him is also very preliminary. But the important part here is that they think this scene is now secure. They don't think there's any danger around here. Nonetheless, this block has been uh, tapered off as they have shifted their response from emergency to investigative. Right now, no one has been heard and they're saying that no homes have been damaged. Now we've seen bomb squads actually going door to door interviewing people in the process of their investigation. Also canine units sniffing around trying to see if there are any more devices. I did speak to a neighbor shaken up by the explosion. I just heard an explosion. Boom! Real loud. I was sitting down watching TV. My lady was laying down on the bed. I scared me. And I hear boom. I said, oh, oh. And just around the block here on East Columbus, where they're saying that the apparent device originated from is the location of the Tampa Police Bomb Squad. At this moment, we are waiting for a TPD spokesperson to get into the area and hopefully give us more details into what happened and what sort of information we can pass along. Of course, stay with us. We'll bring you the latest on air and online. Live in Tampa, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.